Captain Rex here, ready to execute the General's orders. Commander Cody here, ready to execute the General's orders. Commander Wolf, ready to execute the General's orders. Commander Gree here, ready to execute the General's orders. Commander Bly, ready to execute the General. Uh, Bly, you forgot to say orders at the end. Oh yeah, orders. Hi everyone, I'm True Soul, and this is my review of the Star Wars Black Series Commander Bly. So yeah guys, I actually pre-ordered this uh, figure from Entertainment Earth a while back. It is, guys, I have so many or <laughs> stuff on pre-order that I almost forgot that I pre-ordered Commander Bly. But he's actually finally here. Um, I think some uh shipping dates got switched around i can't remember if his shipping date got switched around but he's here now so who cares and yeah guys um to be honest i actually don't really remember commander Bly from the movies all that much he was in revenge of seth when he every you know gunned down ala sakura and you know he was only on screen for a short period of time so i actually didn't really get to have a good look at him but now that i actually have him <laughs> He's actually really cool, and without further ado, we're gonna get right into the review. But first of all, let's open this bad boy up. Alright guys, and here he is. Commander Bly in all of his clone trooper glory. And there's a lot of really interesting stuff on this figure that uh, sets him apart from other clone commanders that we have in the line. And I'll get to that in just a second, but as always, let's start off with the overall look. Now, I used to think that Commander Bly and his clone legion, which I think is called the 327th? I think they're called the Star Corps. Comment down below if that's true or not, or correct me if I'm wrong. But I used to think that they were just kind of like a straight kind of yellow, but looking at this figure, it's more like a um, mustard yellow and then some brown here and there. I don't know if the brown's supposed to be dirt or not. I know, I'm pretty sure the lines that go down his armor is supposed to be there. And uh, I noticed his shoes are a little dirty and stuff like that. Looks like he's been out on uh, Felucia fighting some clankers. So that's really cool to see. But yeah, actually, uh, thanks to me playing a whole lot of Star Wars Battlefront 2, I actually remember seeing a skin in that game that looked like this action figure. <laughs> so in a way, they had Commander Bly in the game, but okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm rare play again. But yeah, I really like the look of this uh, figure a lot. Um, I don't know if it looks like this on with all the figures, but I noticed my, uh, my figure's tunic. Looks like it was a little uh, sloppily put on there. You can see some of the fabric coming over the belt a little bit. I don't know, I'll probably try to fix that later, but I mean, it's not too big of a deal. I'm pretty sure if you move the belt around a bit, you can actually hide that, so I'm not gonna start griping about that. And yeah, guys, and I can't really say whether or not it's inaccurate to how he looked in Revenge of Sith, because Again, I didn't really see him on screen that much, so I'm gonna give Hasbro the benefit of the doubt when it comes to the overall look of uh, Commander Bly here. There is one thing that I wanna go ahead and point out real quick uh, that kinda makes me a little sad, and um, that is uh, Commander Bly's hands. Um, there is some reuse here from uh, clone troopers like uh, Captain Rex and Commander Wolf that he has like one uh, trigger hand that he can use to hold a gun and then he has the other hand which is kind of just like a irregular run of the mill hand that you can probably uh, use to like maybe hold other things that's not necessarily a gun 
And what bugged me about that is he comes with two dual pistols. Sorry, I skipped two accessories, but he comes with two dual, p dual pistols, just like Captain Rex and Commander Wolf. But just like Captain Rex and Commander Wolf, he doesn't have a, another uh, pistol grip hand so he can properly hold the other pistol. But uh, I don't really mind it all that much since I'm not really going to be displaying Commander Bly using a dual pistol because one thing I do remember from the movies, he had one of those big assault rifles. Sorry for skipping to accessories, but he, RA, he, yes, he comes with a big assault rifle. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, let's try to get back on track here and move on to articulation. Now, as I said earlier, there is some reuse here from the Captain Rex, uh, but that is not a bad thing because Captain Rex has some of the best articulation in the whole line, uh, as opposed to the other clone troopers. Uh, he, uh, Commander Bly comes with, uh, uh, what are those things called? Those like shoulder pauldron things? Just like Captain Rex, but it doesn't hinder his articulation, just like Captain Rex, so I'm really happy about that. And because of that, I can get him into a lot more cooler poses and all that. Uh, before I forget to mention it, I never noticed this little, it looks like some type of special built-on like binoculars that are on his helmet. Which I actually like those a lot because you can fold them down so it kind of... Although I always did think that was kind of weird because... The Specialist class in Star Wars Battlefront 2 the, for the Clone Troopers also has that. But I always thought that was weird because it doesn't look like you can see out of it. <laughs> uh, it I don't know, it just looks so weird to me. But, I mean, in some ways it looks kind of cool, so... Although for my display, um, when I do display Commander Bly, I'm probably not going to have that down over his face. I'm probably going to have it flipped up most of the time. So, you know, that's not really too big of a deal to me. Um, oh yeah, uh, he also, unlike other clone troopers, he has some type of, uh, look, look like these little pockets that kind of run down his, uh, shoulder pauldron that's around his, uh top of his torso um i'm not exactly sure what that's for but i mean just a little bit of more extra uh accessory to kind of make commander Bly look unique and i i kind of i don't know uh <laughs> it's a little sad that i did my top 10 favorite uh clone troopers for those of you who haven't watched it i, I suggest you go back and watch it. it's actually rather funny but uh i a few uh, weeks ago, I did a top 10 favorite uh, trooper action figures from Star Wars Black Series. And Commander Blah wasn't out yet at the time, so he wasn't any a part of that list. But if I were, were if he were here when I did that, I think he definitely would have uh, been on the list. Because that's a very cool, unique looking uh, figure. And I, I also really like uh, all the, you know, all the different colors and stuff that the clones have that help set them apart from each other. Uh, and I, I definitely don't have a clone trooper yet that has this type of uh, color scheme and the little different pieces of equipment. So that's really cool that I have that. Now all I need is uh, some troopers for him to lead. And I also need El Sakura so he can shoot her. I mean, help her. Oh man, but guys, what, uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. Uh, there's so many more cool figures coming out. Um, I'm actually glad that we got some more characters from Revenge of the Sith, but I don't know. We 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 still need some more guys. We guys, we need a Revenge of the Sith Palpatine. Okay, I I need a Palpatine that has a lightsaber, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I'm not gonna waste your time for too long, I just wanted to get a quick little video out showing off the new Commander Bly. Comment down below uh, whether or not you have this figure and what you think about him, and 
Be sure to follow me on Twitter so you stay updated whenever I upload a video. And also, if you're into photos of action figures, go follow me on my Instagram, where I'll be posting all kinds of different photos of my collection, my, um, you know, parts of my Star Wars collection, Marvel, Power Rangers, whatever it is. And the cool part about it is most of those photos on there you do not see in my videos. All right, guys, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Until then... Be sure to like, subscribe, and go to my channel to check out other videos. Catch you later.